All right, let's look at Drew Brees. Taking a look here at his consecutive, at just consecutive seasons with over 4,000 passing yards. And Drew Brees <laughs> has 12 of those. Not just 12, 12 straight, guys. That's ridiculous. Uh, will that keep going or no? Nah? Uh, that keeps going. Yeah. He uh, he also is going to maybe have to throw more in the first month because Ingram's out. So it's like he has like a Mario star. He's going to be super accelerated. The question always with Breeze isn't 4,000. It's 5,000. There's only been nine 5,000-yard seasons in history. Drew Brees has five of them. No one yeah. else has two. This is easy. It continues. 4,000. Yeah. I'm an overly optimistic guy, so I want to say yes to everything. 6,000? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say yeah to most of these, but this one is a for sure. Look at 72% Great. was his completion percentage last season. That's a single-season NFL record. Yeah. At his age, Man, that's crazy. So. And then given the fact, like we talked about, Mark Ingram right out the gate, he's not going to be there the first four games. So you would expect them not to really just put all the load on Alvin Kamara behind him and say, listen, we got to go out here and spread this thing around. Hopefully the wide receivers and tight end play, and of course the running backs catching out the backfield. That allows him to get 4,000 Sam, again. Sam Bradford had that accuracy record yeah. for like a second. Yeah. Drew was like, nah. That was fun. <laughs> I'm about to break this. In a, what is, I'm going to put this in air quotes, down year for Drew Brees statistically. Yeah. Yeah. He had four, over 4,300 yards. Mm. In a year where they had the defense making plays and they had the running back duo. Yeah. yeah. And not to he had it. to throw so much less and he yeah. still had 4,300 yards. There was one game where he, they won and they didn't throw a touchdown. That's crazy. You're right. I, I bet Brees the hopes the streak is over because that means a lot of running and great defense. But it, right. Sorry, yeah. not nah, Like it. All right. Just, <laughs> not fam, fam, he says. The Chicago Bears. <laughs> They finished last in the NFC North. This is quite a streak yeah, for four sucks. straight seasons. Does that continue, Nate, or no? Well, listen, what they got, Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel, Benny Fowler, Anthony Miller. I mean, the list goes on. They added a lot of pieces. Trey Burton's the friend of the show. But I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say this streak continues. Okay. The NFC North is that good. I mean, let's start all the way at the top. Let's respect who runs it, and that's yep. the Vikings right now. Uh, and I said that I like the Lions right after that because Stafford and what they're building around him. You got Aaron Rodgers there. I still want to see what he's like and how he bounces back from being banged up last season. So that puts this young squad with all this talent, the new quarterback, new offense coordinator, new coach, in a situation where they're going to make some moves and make some – they're gonna make some ways yeah. in this division, but they're not gonna they're not gonna finish anything. Kai, you're place. looking at me like you're making me sad. I'm trying to make a case. <laughs> we got a pinball no, machine. In my like head, I'm trying to I rationalize. I feel like you're trying to lighten the blow for me. Nah. You know, I'm from Chicago. When I don't disagree with you because of the division, yeah. the Vikings and Packers, Kyle, they'll have ten no. wins. They'll have right. double-digit wins. The Lions, the past two seasons, were nine and seven. Now they have a new coach. They are the the X factor in this division. Is the new coach? Is Matt Patricia going to work? Are those pieces going to connect? But it's gonna the future is bright. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say the streak is broken. Every every year, there's usually a stat that comes out. Every year team goes from last to first and if you were to predict wow. that in the spring you'd be like no that's crazy for example a year ago if we would have said the Jacksonville Jaguars are going to win the division be all the way in the AFC title game it would have sounded insane weird things happen in the yeah, season guys true. we can't just say the Lions will be good the Vikings will be good one of them might not be good and I like what the Bears have going this oh, year yeah. you're not asking me if they're going to finish in first in the division you're asking me if they're going to finish third, third and right. I'm going to say yes the streak is over I love what they have going someone's going to fall Nate I gotta tell you there's just something there's there is something there's this magic I can't even explain yeah. it it's from and when y'all got back y'all had me hyped and we were glowing but yeah. every player that we talked to it was just what do you think of coach and he says we love him he's the man mm -hmm. he his his message to What's, your, what's, what's the message from the coach? Be you. It seems very Dan Quinn Falcons when yeah. they went to the Super Bowl very year. Doug it Peterson was very Iowa. Doug Peterson as right. well. I'm in. All right, the Detroit Lions, let's talk about them. They have this is the most insane streak <laughs> in the NFL. 68 consecutive games without a 100-yard rusher. Reggie Bush, famously, the last one to do it in 2013. They add Carrion Johnson. Tell me this breaks. Yep, Carrion. LeGarrette Blunt, mm -hmm. right? Amir Abdullah still there. Um, Theo Riddick still there, I believe. They got a, a handful of guys that can make plays. I'm going to say, hell yeah, like Dr. Hey. Dre. So let's go ahead and do this, man. It's about that time. Early in the season, middle, late. What do you think? I'll say early in the season. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Jim Bob. I'm going to need you to go ahead and get this thing going. Let's create a plan where you can get this monkey off your back. And yeah. then after that, you can kind of develop an offense that's more versatile. But you got to get this running game going because I love Stafford. Mm. Tremendous talent. But if you're going to ask him to go out there and throw you guys into every game, play hero in the fourth quarter with his arm, it's not going to have any lasting power. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to run the ball in the sleep. And mm -hmm. they know that because they – what are you laughing I can't at? wait to go. They <laughs> traded up in the second yeah. round to get on Johnson. Right. You don't do that unless you're going to feature the kid off the jump. And you're asking him, is it going to be early? I, I'm going to call my shot here. 
Week two, Forty Niners, bottom ranked run defense last year. Uh -huh. It's that. It's that game. Mm -hmm. okay. Carry on, Johnson. You did the deep dive on mm -hmm. that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to say they don't break it. You're welcome. You, it was great, but I'm going the other way. Um, kind of for the same reason you said, Nate. You just listed about four guys they have. That can work against you having yeah, a 100 yard rush. If they had Ezekiel or Gurley, they're going to get it. They split it up. It's Jim Bobby still splits it up. And guys, I like Carry on too. I loved Amir Abdullah coming out of college. Famously, too. Bruce Arians was going to take him over David Johnson. He is really talented. Yeah. Same coordinator, couldn't do it. It's just kind of not what they do there. And, and I don't think that's – they could win 11 games and not have a 100-yard rusher. I think it's going to continue, and I kind of want it to. We talk about it a lot. We do. It's so eerie. I think it will go the distance. Uh, Such a weird streak. I hope not, really. but hopefully they're looking at it like Calais <laughs> Campbell looks at stats. They don't matter. Let's rack up those yeah. Yeah. Moving we'll on get to them. the New York Giants. They've scored. This is so crazy. They've scored under 30 points in 32 consecutive yeah. regular season games. Okay, this is the craziest one. I don't believe it. It is? In, Why? In, in modern offenses with a quarterback who's going to go to the Hall of Fame, not 50, 30 points. Teams roll out of bed and score 30 points in the second quarter sometimes. This is insane. This, I can't believe this is Two full seasons. This has to end. Yeah. This, this is ending. And a full season with Odell two seasons ago. You can't get 30? What? That's crazy. Okay, they do play tough defenses. They've got the Jags, the Eagles twice, the Texans, Saints, Panthers, and Falcons. Yeah. Giant schedule is woof for sure. Well, here's the thing. Third down percentage, uh, they were... 32. What are you talking about? They were 32. <laughs> what a the Okay. No, but listen, they're 30th. They're okay. 30th on third down. Right. So I'm okay. going to say that's going to improve, right? Because yeah. you got Odell, Son, Shepard, Ingram, Saquon. Yeah. It's going to help in third down. Rushing, they were just under 100 yards. That's going to improve. Yards per game, they were 21st. That's going to improve. So all these different areas, that's going to help with the 30 points. Like, Ooh. they're at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the pack in all of these, like, really important statistical categories. Now you put all of these weapons on the field healthy, of course, you're, you're going to put up more points. So I'm going to say this one is going to end. It's going to end early. They were bottom three last year in third yard per, yeah. or third down percentage. It's like the Browns won one game in the last two years. I feel like I'm more appalled by this. Yeah. you got to get 30, and I'll tell you what. It is going to break, and I'm going to do what Adam's done in the last one. I'm going to call my shot. Do it! It's going to break week two. Now, not week one. This is interesting because they play Jacksonville week one. We've already had some chatter between Jalen. Jalen yeah. responded. What You were saying that they're going to load – the Giants are going to load the, the stat box, box yeah. against Jacksonville. Jalen, who's incredible at Twitter, mm -hmm. retweets with a gif of a Jaguar opening a box. Who even knew that existed? Yeah. I don't think it'll happen week one. But week two at Jerry World, Eli Manning literally autographed the wall when they opened that place. He's sort of an owner of it. Week two, they will get 30 points. Thank God. Okay. Moving on here, doing some streaking. Uh, the New England Patriots have eight consecutive seasons with at least 12 or more regular season wins. It's an impressive streak. Will it continue this year? Nah, fam. All right, go nah, on. Nah, fam, Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not going the Peace Shrake's route where I feel like the drama going yeah. on between the front <laughs> office and the quarterback and all of the surrounding pieces, that's not going to be the issue. For me, it's Matt Patricia, and I feel like that's a huge deal that we're not talking I'm about saying. enough. The beginning of the season last year was horrendous. Yeah. The defense was terrible, and we're saying there's no way that they can sustain this. They're going to be terrible this year, and then that defense and Matt Patricia, kudos to them. They corrected it quickly. But then the last game of the season, which was the Super Bowl, that defense looked like the defense we saw in the beginning of the season. So what's not to say that they'll revert to that? Without a guy that they've been able to talk to for the last so many years as their defense coordinator and Patricia. So I feel like because of their defense, the streak going, there's going to be one of those games where they're going to get lit up in the skies. And Tom Brady at 41 can't play hero anymore. Mm. I, I'd say no, the streak continues, yeah. The last time they didn't do this, it was way back when they finished 10-6, and six, lost in the wild card round. It was a weird season. And I've seen the coordinators leave before. You know, Matt Patricia leaves. I've seen Romeo Cornell leave. I've Facts. seen Charlie Weiss. I've seen Josh McDaniels. They make up for the coordinator things. Okay, this one is not that interesting to me. They win 12 games every single year. I think it continues. And there's just nobody in that division yet that is there to challenge there them. So we talk about, you know, what, what, Brady and the quarterback, about how good are the other quarterbacks getting. In the league, maybe, but in that division, they're still king. So those are some, that's, you know, five, that's five wins. wins. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Well, they always lose to the Dolphins in Miami. That's but true. That's like, five there's the five wins there it. for them. Now, the last 10 quarterbacks selected, number one overall lost their first career start what the last 10 quarterbacks taken number one overall lost their first career start does that continue wow with no. mr baker this doesn't continue i feel like i feel like 
Baker's going to be different now. I'm trying to remember some of these. Jameis' first career start, I believe, was against Mariota. Mariota was incredible. That's true. Cam threw for like 400 yards in his first start and still lost. Still lost. Really memorable losses. Goffs, of course, was after hard knocks. But this is all those dudes lost. And you think, nah. Yeah, no, I think not for sure. Listen, if, if what you say is true and he plays the first game of the season, yeah. there's going to be some type of energy that he's going to bring to that game. Baker Mayfield being the, the guy that just took Tyrod Taylor's position, he's opening it up for the Browns. Yep. And I get it. It's one hell of an opener, but that could be it. But even if he doesn't start the first game of the season, when he does come in, it's going to be a situation where – Tyrod essentially lost his job, and Baker's going to be full of himself anyway, and there's going to be a different type of energy. <laughs> Either way, that first game, he gets on the field, whether it's the first start or the midway yeah. through the season, it's going to be incredible energy, I think, that it's going to have that feeling that he had yeah. in college, and all of a sudden, he's going to be in the NFL thinking, huh, I've been here before. Mm. I know what this feels like. Huh. I know how to show out. I think Baker, Baker breaks it, and it's week one of 2019. <laughs> I like it. I wonder who they'll play. We don't even know. Yep. I, I, I think that Breaker, Baker does not break it because it's week one of 2018. I will stick to my guns on that. Ooh, it's home it's so for the home fans against the Steelers. The Steelers are loaded. I do agree with Nate. Someone as emotional as him, if he starts his first game in front of his fans that have not seen a win in two years, I think Pittsburgh's too good. I want to see him out there, but I think the streak will continue.